it up. Uh, they did a great job. We mixed up the personnel groupings that we used. We gave them some stuff that they didn't see. Uh, obviously, everything was built on stopping the run and the deep pass, and we did it. And how much do you guys work on that QB sneak, and what makes you so effective? <coughs> well, we work on it every uh, Thursday. We call it the winning edge. But, you know, Joe's a big, strong guy, can play linebacker. Uh, we feel that he, he can get a half a yard, and if it's a half a yard or less, we're going to take it. Ed Atkins has just been uh, unreal on kickoffs for him to get yeah. Yeah, just he's a tremendous competitor. Uh, just thank God we got him. Uh, we love it. That was a big play in the ball game, as you guys know. We wanted to cause a turnover, a game. We wanted to uh, have a game-winning play on the special teams, and we did it. So they made it 19 to 9. Uh, you guys go 86 yards. Uh, the importance of that drive. Well, no, no question, no question, because the momentum was changing. It was swinging their way a little bit. You can feel it. Uh, we needed that drive. I thought Steve Ensminger did a great job of calling plays today. Fantastic job. The use of tempo on offense. Excuse me? The use of tempo on offense. Yeah. Like got a lot of success. Yeah. We're going for it. We're going for it as hard as we can today. We're throwing out the kitchen sink, man. We're going for everything we had, and we did it. When they tried to fake field goal, I mean, it seemed like you guys were able to read it. Yeah. What did, you, what did the players see? Well, it surprised me. It was like 10 yards to go. It surprised me, but we always have – a guy for the fake while well, we have eyes. You know, when you're playing uh, on the field goal block, you have to have your eyes on him, on your man, not on a field goal kicker. Tremendous this one. Ed, this is such a huge game. Uh, I mean, when you know, coaches sometimes get tired, they don't go for it. It's yeah. Why did you set it up? You know, we just, we just felt the tempo, uh, what we needed this week to be aggressive. Uh, all week we talked about being aggressive. Uh, I was – I was a little pissed at myself for not going forward against Florida down there, fourth and half an inch. Uh, we didn't do a good job of game management then, so I said, hey, I'm going to go for it. Did that keep you up this week? Okay. Did that keep you up this week a little bit? No. Nah, I don't know. Hey, why did you not go forward on the fourth and two and Say it again. Yeah, well, yeah, well, it was a little too long. A little too long. Actually, it was fourth and three. We were going for it. We called timeout. We had called the play. We are going for it, but he said, I'll go for it, but it's fourth and three, so I called a timeout. Did you feel kind of after the way that worked out in that spot? Yeah, it worked out great. Yep. Georgia hasn't given up a 100-yard rush until tonight. Yeah. What did you see from him coming Yeah, I thought it was a tremendous game plan by the guys. You know, Kyle's a, a good zone runner. Uh, we ran specific plays for Clyde, specific plays for Nick, and it worked out. And it was a Louisiana native. What did it feel like? Uh, feel oh, great. And, you know, I grew up watching LSU football. I walked out, I could feel it. Walking down the Tiger Walk, you just feel it all week. This was going to be one of those games for the LSU Tigers, and I want to be part of it. It was great. Coach, you've done a while since it's it like Yeah. What was it like for you? I mean, it was, it's never going to be about me. I'm just glad for the team, man. These guys these guys work so hard, and they, they deserve it. These coaching staff work so hard. I was just glad to be part of it. Coach, talk about the emotions today, not just with playing Georgia, but Jerry Stowell getting his number retired, and then, of course, the yeah. Yeah. Taylor. Yeah. Just, what do you think this win just does for yeah. the LSU community as a whole? Yeah. Well, you know, just getting us close together, one team, one heartbeat. And uh, Jerry Stovall has been a friend of mine since uh, 
I got the job. We're Louisiana native. Uh, only other Louisiana native to have the job. We take pride in Louisiana. A great player, a great coach. And then the loss of uh, Jimmy, you know, was, uh, you know, losing him and Billy in the same year. Is, uh, it's tough. It's tough. But, you know, we rebound as a family. Uh, we tough. You know, we, from southern Louisiana, we have hurricane. We have adversity. And we work through adversity. That's just the type of people we are. We're proud of it. What is the emotional roller coaster like going through a college football season, the highs of Miami, the lows yeah. of Florida, and now this? Yeah, you just got to handle one week at a time. That's why we don't make projections. That's why we don't read the newspaper. Uh, I'm sure my guys read it. I don't. The projections, you know, it didn't do these guys anything to be ranked the way they were. That, that doesn't win football games. Uh, we take it one week at a time, one day at a time, see what we can do. Uh, th that Monday's going to be Tell the Truth Monday. We're going to move on. We're going to press on to Mississippi State. They're a darn good football team. Another tremendous challenge. Hey, do you feel like you guys won this game in practice in the classroom, watching tape, getting better from Florida? Uh, I, I, I do believe there was a hunger. I do believe that we felt – that we were the blame for losing that football game. We didn't feel like the team just came out and beat us and we couldn't handle it. And that even hurts more. And I think that when it does, uh, you screw the screws a little bit tighter. You do the things that you can do. And I think all week our guys had a chip on their shoulder. And these guys being the number two team in the country, all the things you hear about their dynasty and all that stuff, I mean, now guys are ready to go. Yeah, in the first quarter, Jordan, against that driver, they, were, they run for like 60 yards on the net. What yeah, we did. We, we were playing one certain defense, and uh, it wasn't working. And we changed to play another one, and it worked to stop them. What, what really? was the change? What was that? What was the change? Uh, do you really want to know everything? <laughs> we were shaded one way. I'm going to tell you. You ready? We were shaded one way, and then we went and shaded another way. And that was the change. Be in the paper. All right. Shade to shade, baby. Coach, when y'all kept, y'all stayed aggressive throwing even yeah. when you got a little we, we bit of a lead. Is that the confidence you No, stay on attack. We had to stay on attack today. We could not get in a situation on third down where let them pin their ears back and throw the football. We had to stay on the attack. That was the, the word all day, stay on the attack. Yep. Say, this is a statement game or whatever. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about what this does for the big picture? You know, we have a lot of recruits here, a lot of guys here. Uh, Georgia's always in the national picture. Uh, we're an up-and-coming football team. We've still got a long ways to go, but we want to lead LSU to a championship. Uh, where this takes us, we don't know, but uh, hopefully it gives us some confidence that we can play with anybody in the country. Uh, we cannot look past what we got up next is Mississippi State. Uh, listen, let me tell you something. We can control. We can control. We play well and do the things we can. We can be in there with most teams in the country. Yeah, just two penalties tonight in the offensive yeah. line. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, they got to remind us some things this week, and it worked. <laughs> so, yeah, there was a lot of discussion about the Tiger Stadium and the magic of this. Yeah. Place. How much effect do you think it had to that? A night and day. Night and day. Yeah, I just I, I'll, I'll play his feet off of it. It starts with we'll start with the Tiger Walk. I mean, you can see in our guys' eyes. There was not a lot of having to get guys hyped up in the locker room or nothing. They were they were hyped, ready to go. I told the coaches we're gonna have to remain calm today because the crowd is gonna do the motivation for us, and they did it. And uh, that's a, that's a big advantage. You guys Coach, put on the read on the read uh, option there with Joe. Yeah. You, you, you saw them crashing and you. Yeah. Yeah, he reads it. That's that's Steve. He reads it, and uh, Joe's good at it. Joe's, you know, if we were a zone read team, Joe could be really good at it. But you know, we just can't afford getting them hurt. You guys put Chase and Hines in there at left guard yeah. early on in the game. What, how did he play, and, and what made? Him <coughs> I think he did well. I think he really did well. Uh, he's healthy, and he was banged up a little bit. Chase is going to be an excellent player for us. Coach, take one more. Thank you, guys. Go Tigers. Let's go Tigers.